So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're gonna take a quick look at the Corvus Prime, the first primed Argon to be introduced into the game. Now since this is a primed weapon, the only way to get it is to assemble it from its primed parts, which you can either get yourself by opening specific relics or by buying the parts from other players, but relics are rotated in and out quite frequently, so things may change, so please check out the official Wikipedia website, which I will link in the video description, to see if the relics are still correct. For now you can get the stock as a common drop from the Lith S12 relic, the barrel as a rare drop from the Neo C2 relic, Relic, the blueprint as an uncommon drop from the Axie K7 relic, and finally the receiver as a common drop from the Meso G4 relic. Now the Corvus Prime requires mastery rank 14, which is quite high, and it does 560 damage with an uncharged shot and 960 damage with a fully charged shot, with the majority of that damage being heat and the secondary damage type being impact. Now the crit chance bounces between 44 and 56% based on whether you charge the shot or not, the crit multiplier stays the same at 300% and the status chance bounces between 20% and 30% depending on how much you charge the shot once again. And other than that the weapon has a 20 round mag with a 1 second reload. The biggest change with the Corvus Prime by far is in the way it works. The standard Corvus was just a straight up shotgun that you could charge, whereas the Corvus Prime fires an Arcaplasmor-esque projectile instead. This projectile will punch through enemies, though if it hits terrain it will dissipate, and it is big, like very big. Like it already looks fairly big, but trust me, it's like much bigger than you would expect. Which is good. Now as far as the build goes, it's basically just the standard Argon hybrid build, there isn't really much that you can do here, though here the good thing is that you can actually put it on with zero forma. The only thing you're gonna want to mess around with here is the type of elemental damage that you're doing, so if you're using it in just normal missions with a gravity mag you want to be running contamination casing and charge bullets with magma chamber for corrosive and heat, but if you want to do the profit taker you want to run charge bullets combined with magma chamber for radiation and then hypothermic shell for cold damage. Now one thing to bear in mind with the Corvus Prime is that if you're just using it with a Gravi Max or you're running around with it in atmosphere you don't want to charge it all the way, because if you do charge it all the way it will stagger you when you fire the shot, and that's not good. So only charge it all the way if you're using it in Arcwing or with a Necromech because you won't get staggered there, or if you're using it against the Profit Taker, because if you fully charge it against the Profit Taker and you crit you will one shot its legs, which is absolutely fabulous. It actually makes it one of the best if not the best Argon against the Profit Taker, it makes it super chill, though you may run into some clipping issues with the projectile where the projectile clips through the invincible portion of the boss and it won't actually do any damage to the legs. So I would always recommend you stand on the outside and shoot inwards rather than standing underneath the boss and shooting outwards. Next up we have Arcwing, where the weapon feels fine, I wouldn't necessarily call it super high tier, it doesn't feel quite as good as something like the Kuva Grattler, mainly because you do have to charge it all the way if you want to one shot these enemies, which, you know, slows you down a little bit, so it's not quite as good as something like, once again, the Kuva Grattler, or even something like the Fluctus. It's not bad by any means, but uh, I would say this is where the weapon is at its weakest. Next up we have Necromech, where the weapon feels absolutely fabulous, because it basically has no downside, right? You get the high damage that you get if you're using it with a gravity mag in atmosphere, but you also get the stagger immunity from Arcwing. So I would definitely recommend you pick this weapon up, because it just feels great, it's a little bit meh in Arcwing compared to some of the other Arguns, but everywhere else it is absolutely fantastic. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, and I will see you next time, bye bye.